Now let's create the main part, the plant vines. Using the green yarn, we will create four identical vines. Firstly, leave a 4 inch tail and start with the magic ring. Crochet 6 single crochets into the magic ring. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. After that, we will do 6 increased stitches. That means 2 single crochets into 1 stitch. So, first single crochet, the second single crochet into the same stitch, and 5 increased stitches more. Now we got 12 stitches total, and we should make 2 chain stitches and turn. Make a slip stitch into the next stitch or into the third stitch from your hook. Now make 2 chain stitches and make another slip stitch into the next stitch. Repeat the steps chain 2 and slip stitch 10 more times to get a curved edge like a leaf. After we made the first leaf, we will crochet 12 chain stitches to get to the second leaf. Second leaf, make 4 chain stitches for stem part. After that, make 4 more chain stitches and a slip stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. We will use the ring instead of magic ring. Make 6 single crochets into a ring. After we finish the first round, we will make 6 increased stitches. It means 2 single crochet stitches into 1 stitch. In the end of this round, we should have a total of 12 stitches. Now, make 2 chain and turn. Make a slip stitch into the next stitch or into the third chain from your hook. Repeat 2 chain and slip stitch 11 more times to get a curved edge like a leaf. This leaf would be totally the same as the first leaf. After you finish this round, make 4 slip stitches into 4 chain stitches to finish a tiny stem and connect to the wind of this plant. After we made a second leaf, we will crochet 12 chain stitches to get to the third leaf. The third leaf is totally the same as the second one. So you're starting with 4 chain stitches for the stem part, then you're making 4 more chain stitches and a slip stitch into the 4th stitch from the hook. This will be your magic ring. And then you're repeating the same pattern for the leaf. After we made the third leaf, we will crochet 10 chain stitches to, to get to the calyx part. Make 4 chain stitches and a slip stitch into the 4th stitch from the hook. This will be your magic ring. Make 6 single crochets into a ring. Now make a slip stitch into the 1st single crochet. Make 4 chain stitches. Starting from the second chain on your hook crochet, one single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet, and slip stitch into the next stitch of magic ring. Repeat the steps five more times to get a total of six sleeves. First it's 4 chain stitches, then 1 single crochet, 1 half double crochet, and 1 double crochet. And a slip stitch into the next stitch. Make the last slip stitch into the first single crochet of the ring. Now leave a long tail about 10 inches and cut the thread. At the end of this pattern, you should have a total of 3 leaves and calyx. This is what we have so far. Repeat the steps to get 3 more vines like this.